Hello? Aha! Oh, hello there. Have you come to pay for your rainbow treats? We knew you would. Won't you join us in our rainbow squirt pledge of purpose? To promote nice Hi, everybody. To make the world prettier. To share candy with everyone. To obfuscate the true nature of the milkman. To protect the milkman at all costs. Or threaten, 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 threaten to reveal the secret objective. Go, girl! Protect the milk! Oh my god! <laughs> Do not follow! The milk is not ready, and you are not ready for the milk! I'm sorry you... Hey, hey, bicycle brioche. I'm sorry you have to work during the holidays. That really sucks. If it makes you feel any better, I'm gonna be alone for Christmas. I'm gonna be alone. Very sad. I told you not to follow. Now you must die! But that is the way of the rainbow squirts! Rainbow squirts? Oh god, I can't escape it. Oh wait, I have to use clairvoyance on her. I remember. Die! No wait, I think it's when the lights die! go off. Ha! No milk for you! I like how it, when I fail doing the thing, it just sounds like a fart, but like a really loose fart. Like maybe a queef. More like a queef than a fart. I remember this. Enough! It's time for me to pluck out your eyes! Ha! You can't. That is the purpose of the goggles. Fine! Then I'll do this. Hope you can see in the dark. Because I can! <laughs> <laughs> this box is free. Ha! <laughs> this is such a this weird fight. So I'm free. using so I'm using clairvoyance. Watch it. No milk for you. Damn it. Hold on. <laughs> So I'm using clairvoyance to see what she's doing, but now I- oh, I gotta hold on to the... No drink? Oh, here it is. God's Eye. Whoa, that's an interesting thing to call it. No milk for you! know what I did wrong. Wait, what am I doing? Yeah, this is the Milkman Die! conspiracy. <laughs> Die! Oh, thank you 
for hosting. No milk for you! Oh man, I'm gonna die. This is bad. Oh, I died. Can you use the shield? <gasps> Good idea. Hold on. No milk for you. This box is Can't free. Get a good rip. No milk for you. This box is free. I wonder if I can just shoot her. Hold on. Treats for you. Getting it. The problem was I was getting too close. Die. I was getting too close and I was no setting off the bomb. You. So here we go. Life is Strange what Podcast. Have you done? He wakes. I am the milkman. My milk is delicious. And the sea shall run white with his rage. Excuse me. I am the milkman. My milk is delicious. Special delivery today. <laughs> oh, jeez. Milkman, do you have whipped cream in a compressed can? Mr. Mime Milk. No. No, the gingerbread. No Mr. Mime here. I am the milkman. My milk is delicious. Void? Are you okay? Time for the final delivery to this address. Hey, is that milk regular kind? Or the exploding dream kind? It's fortified with what the world wants. What the world deserves. Are you sure you don't want to just talk about this, Boyd? Oh, jeez. Is he about to set off a bomb? <laughs> Time to deliver the milk. Get to the top of the tower like I did in my vision. Aha. Okay. The milk is fortified with what you need and what we deserve. So, here's a bunch of conspiracy stuff. I just really like this level environment. It's really cool. Hmm. Can I hit this? I can. Come here. I wonder what he sees. <laughs> I love using clairvoyance. It's so good. <laughs> it's so good. Use clairvoyance on the bracelet. You get a hidden cutscene. Ooh, good, good call out. Good call out. Lily. 
Well, I've reviewed your chart, little girl. And the bad news is, we're gonna have to remove your brain. Oh, jeez. Strap it into an armored battle tank and make it shoot down innocent civilians with its concentrated psychic jet beam! I'm gonna kill you so much! The good news is that your insurance is going to cover the whole thing. So, oh, good. Well, the insurance covers it. No, I'm just trying to set you on fire through this stupid hat. What a delightfully mean little brain you have. Just what we want. Here, do me a favor. Tell me if you think this smells like your doom. <laughs> That looks like a... I can't smell anything. Curses! <laughs> uh, you're a stubborn little ball of flame, ain't ya? Well, that head cold won't protect you forever, little girl. Yeah, can I get and that insurance? When it's gone, you'll be sneezing a different tune. A tune in the key of... Brains! <laughs> It was, I'm not trying. It was like that color, and I was like, okay. Oh, free brain! Don't worry, Frankie. I'll put this one right next to Kitty's. Excellent. Find Fala Cadet's brain. If you take it back to the four cooler, blah blah blah. You'll totally mend blah 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 blah. Yes, I got a brain. Finally, now your ears won't whistle so much when the wind blows. <laughs> No, I meant I recovered a stolen brain. Oh, I know what you meant. Sheesh! You and Sasha. No sense of humor when you're on a mission. Hmm? <laughs> well, are you gonna come back here so we can recranialize that noodle while it's still al dente? I guess we should go recranialize the, the noodle. As one does, of course. Hey, why don't you just take a little nibble of that and see if I can taste it too? Uh, da, da, da. I, I need to regroup, regroup back at HQ. HQ. Affirmative. Prepare for extraction. Use the bacon to put the offal in the noodle. What? <laughs> yep. So let's return this brain and we should get yep. sanity back, which is now a new resource that we must use because now we're in a place that makes us lose our sanity, like bisected brioche and her squirty cream. Scott Blows, one of the community managers for Life is Strange, was like, What else do you call it? I'm like, You don't call it Squirty well, Cream. thing about you finding that kid's brain, besides the whole thinking and feeling they'll be able to do now, is that they will be adding their subconscious mental attention to your quest, and their energy will increase your mental health potential. That sounds great. But is the surgery going to be dangerous? Nothing's dangerous when you have the right tools. Messy, yes, but not dangerous. And so that's why, even though she is a girl, and we are good friends, she is not technically my girlfriend. Okay. Well, I can tell you one thing. My dad is never going to send me to this camp again. Where's Kitty? Never mind. I'll find her. <laughs> Agent Cruller? What is the current situation? I'm ready to go back into the field. Okay. Let's see if I remember exactly where you were. So, uh, after since bisected brioche told me against my will about squirty cream, which in the United St States is known as whipped cream, other people have come forward to tell me their country's dark secrets about cream and the whipping of it. And apparently, if you put whipped cream in a can, people cannot not call it something gross and sexual. So I was like, yeah, I'm from like some country. I think it was a Norwegian country. I can't be sure. Don't like quote me on that. And they're like, yeah, uh, it's totes. <laughs> Ours is called something where it translates into semen cream. And I was like, you guys have gone too far. This is why the Protestants left. This is why the Protestants left. Because they cannot deal with Kitty's any of this brain. shit. You know, I hate to say it, but it is better groomed than the rest of the brains. <laughs> My aesthetic is kissing brains. It makes you happy to know other countries have also disgusting names for their whipped cream in a can. It's called cream in a can or aerosol cream. 
Okay. Good. Very scientific. Keep it non-nutty. What are they gonna call it next? Nut cream? Thank you, all of you. You're all so kind. You make a girl so happy. So the next thing, some people... Oh! You found my old trophy! I should really put that thing away before somebody hurts themselves on that gleaming metal claw-like part on the top. Say, would you like to hear the story of how I won that award, dear boy? Or are you trying to take it because you don't think I deserve it? No, no, you deserve it. I didn't take anything from you. I didn't ask to be famous. I just wanted you to love me. Hey! What? You're supposed to be dead! <gasps> ah! What? That, like, changed so quickly. Oh, now I know this isn't supposed to happen. Look, I'm just a picture. I'm an autograph. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, now I know this isn't supposed to happen. I mean, because if it's vegan cream from nuts, you can call it nut cream. I need you guys to never name anything. And I think Europe should be banned from naming anything that has to do with nuts or cream or milk. You've been officially banned. You can no longer do it. Only the Mormons can do it now. The Mormons were right. We've gone too far. We have to go back to being Amish. God, no, the internet's canceled. We're, we're, we're Amish now. So this lady, uh, coming up, we're going to be in a broken down and abandoned insane asylum. So everyone here is going to have psychosis. So if you find that to be distasteful, I won't hold it against you if you don't watch anymore. I personally find these levels super fun and very imaginative and creative. And I enjoy them a lot, even though it's an insane asylum. And I know some people are bothered by that. Just thought I'd warn you guys beforehand. My award? Trying to leave me, just like everybody else. Back where you were, my old friend. No one walks out on Gloria Von Guten. Mr. Mime's delicious nut cream. I hate you. Gee, God. Should be banned for life from everything. Okay, we're gonna go into her brain. And what we're gonna do oh, is If you don't solve like the performance, a simple boo will do. We're going to psychically solve her mental illness, I guess, maybe. AJ, are you part of the Let's Play commentary? Are you a Let's Player, or are you a dog? Okay, that's what I thought. Cut! Hey, kid! Can't you see I'm trying to produce a play here? Uh, no. Oh, God! Even a child can see I've lost control of this production. Okay, Becky, get a grip. Child? Look, kid, it wasn't always like this. We used to have a hit show on our hands. Everybody loved us. But then our big star, Bonita Soleil, got stage fright and locked herself in her dressing room. So now we're stuck flipping between sunshine shenanigans and the horror of Hagatha Home. Uh oh Which is like flipping between a root canal and a sharp stick in the eye. Just ignore Jasper. He's just a critic who happens to be right. I'll go talk to them. I'm sure all she needs is a little pep talk. That and acting lessons. You can get Bonita to take the stage again. And you're the star of my show, kid. So, <clears throat> I know I've asked this before, but yet again, what would people's insides of their brains be? Because you know how this is this lady's inside of her brain. What was your? What would yours look like? How do I? Should I set this on fire? I think I should set it on fire. Nope, that's not working. That didn't do anything. Hmm. Another tag. Oh! Hidden by shadow, take my charity. Ooh! Solid charity there, dude. Thanks for donating to charity. Do, 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 do. Oh, uh. Got it! Suitcase tag. 
That's what I need here. <laughs> Hey! Guess she really doesn't want to see anyone right now. Wow, she's really crying. Oh. Oh, she's gorgeous. Look at her. Hey, watch it, or I'll call security. Hey, watch it, or I'll call security. <laughs> How do I make it so I have nothing in my hand? That's what really pisses me off. Okay. Nothing more to crawler. Excuse me, Miss Soleil. I heard you were feeling bad, so I just wanted to say that whatever you're going through, you're not alone. I used to be a performer myself, and I know how hard it is when... Kid, can't you see I'm trying to have a moment here? <laughs> Sorry. I was looking for Bonita Soleil. You mean the personal muse of Gloria Von Guten? Her inner sunshine? The spirit of her youth, yes. That's me. What do you want, an autograph? I'm kind of busy here. <laughs> Uh, so that's... So who's that crying? So who's that crying? Oh, sorry. Hey, can we kill the waterworks for a second? Thanks. It's a recording. It helps me focus. <laughs> okay. They like to just listen to crying. Do you ever just, like, sit alone and glow and listen to crying? They need you on stage right away for your big number. They need you on stage right away for your big number. Am I not playing this right or something? I'm drowning in a quagmire of self-pity. Why aren't you getting that? Should I be doing more with my hands? <laughs> so, you're not going out on stage? Have you seen any of the plays we put on here? Those god-awful slices of glorious, terrible life? How am I supposed to bring light to those? Listen, the burden of being the only sunshine in this theater is just too much for one beautiful, glowing, inspirational muse to bear, you know? Is there any way I can get you to take the stage? For the fans? If you can get me some help out there so I'm not the only light on the set. I'll turn on a spotlight. Uh, that could work. But you'll need a candle. Uh, I think there might be a spare in the storeroom. If you can get a candle into a spotlight and light it, I'll come out and give the show one last try. But I'm not promising anything. So, are you ready for your big number? Did you put a candle in that spotlight and light it yet? No, but I'm about to. So, uh, five minutes, Miss Soleil. Thanks, Sonny. I'll leave you alone now. Thank you. Now, where was I? <laughs> Sometimes, like, I'm, I'm very busy crying. Please, leave me alone. Please, you're making a mess. Yeah, well, you're just laying there crying, so you need to get it together, sir. Ma'am, sorry. That was... That was, uh, ma'am. My bad. I'm sorry. Gloria's cruel training. I got a home for girls. You're going here! You will dance dance, Larsay! <laughs> Sing now! Ooh, now look at videos of people dancing. <laughs> She's whipping them while watching. And now put this on. Whip. Whipping. <laughs> I don't even know why I'm collecting anything. I cheated already and maxed out all my stuff. How do I get up there? <laughs> I too like to backflip and slam into the ground when someone's sobbing incessantly. Of course. Alright, alright, alright. Hmm. Got a nice tag. Sounds like a loose queef. 
Oops. Hmm. Who's crying now? Why is everyone crying? I like how the the figments are all custom made to each level. That's such. There's so many cool little details in here. Who's crying? Oh, it's it's the lady. I keep thinking it's baggage. <gasps> hey, ding ding. Why aren't you using the dust whip catcher? Cause I already collected every. Okay, if it bothers you, I'll do it. But I don't know how to make my hands empty when I do the thing. I'll, if it bothers you, you'll do the thing. Got it. Got it. There we go. Alright, let's get out of here. Put the candle in. We got it. Stop collecting things. You're wasting time, Mari. Stop talking to yourself. Don't tell me what to do. Oh, it doesn't bother you? Okay. Well, I just want to make sure that everyone's comfortable and relaxed. How's everyone's holidays going? It's the Saturday before Christmas. We can do whatever we want. And then fire. Flower girls in position one. And action! Tonight I will be playing the part of Gloria von Guten, the famous actress. In this nostalgic memory of her breakthrough role in the smash hit musical, Sunshine Shenanigans! Yay! Yay! Woo! Yay! Oh -ho! <laughs> and where would Gloria be without her muse? Her inner sunshine! The spirit of her youth! Play tonight, once again, by Bonita Soleil! There she is! Oh, I do so hope that my mother is proud of me! <laughs> Not again! <gasps> the Phantom! <gasps> I've seen some bad plays in my day, but this one's an actual menace, and it's all her fault. It's her bad acting that makes the Phantom strike. No. This time, I'm going to file a formal complaint and get this theater shut down. Great. Well, I'm off to go kill myself. You know, you could be a more constructive critic. Kid, if you want to see a good play, come talk to me. I've got a script here that'll knock them dead, I promise. Thank you for subscribing. Hey! Whoa, 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 whoa! Careful! Catastrophe Phoenix, thank you. Override. That's how we set the right mood for the play. Mess with that, and we'll have happy plays on sad sets, sad plays on happy sets, total chaos, or worse. Improv. So whatever you do, don't mess with the manual mood override unless you want to see some strange stuff happen. I definitely. I Becky's not telling me the whole story. I want to hear I everything. Should go give her a piece of my mind. I want to see. I want to see the the chaos. Um, the thing I like about this is oh. Is that you have this inner critic and you say you could be more constructive. Wahaha! -ha. Welcome to Haggath the Home School for Girls, where you will begin your long and painful training in the theatrical disciplines. Wahaha! -ha. But I don't want to study theater! I want my mom to come take me home right now! Your mom has a career and a boyfriend to think about. She doesn't have time for an ugly little girl like you. Boo hoo hoo hoo! There is nothing more tedious than the tears of an unlovable child. It's time to suffer for your art. I know this shit's getting like layered and deep, but I like how the 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 uh, critic kind of represents how we are always mean to ourselves. Where we're playing this stuff. Oh god, oh jeez. And 
here we are. Hey, We're up there's high. the hot air balloon I need to get to the catwalks. Now, if I could just get them to do a play that brings it down here, I could ride it up to the catwalks and take care of that phantom. We're not that far into the stream, don't worry. Okay, I, it's over there, but... Yep. Hmm... You said that if Benita performed, everything would be okay. Okay, so I left out the part about the deadly phantom. I thought you'd chicken out. Ma'am, I'm a psychonaut. Just show me how to get up to those catwalks he hides out in and... Sorry, no way up there. Well, there was this one play. We would lower this prop hot air balloon down from the catwalks and then pull it back up again. If you find it, or any other play for crying out loud, just bring it to me and I'll run the actors through it. We're so desperate for new material around here. Oh, you know what it is. Okay, let me just think about this for a second. Because this is like hitting me way harder as an adult now that I'm like a grown-ass person. She's playing the same traumatic memories over and over again in her head. And then criticizing herself for every wrong thing that she's ever done. This is the most accurate depiction of someone's internalized depression. I am losing it. <laughs> and they're like, we need new material. We we'll need to think about other things. And all we do is ever think about this one sad thing. Dude, this is, this is next level, like, psychoanalyst shit. I'm losing it. Find the right script and play it on the right set to get the access to the catwalks. Alright. So we gotta find a script. <laughs> Rumination, my favorite internal enemy. Yes, of course. Too weak, too deep, too woke. This is too much for me. We're in too deep. Let's go shallow. Let's go a little bit more shallow. Let's go back to the milkman. I was safe there. So where can we find a script? There's like a magical door in this thing. Maybe I should go through the magical door. Leave me alone! boat ain't coming for you, girly. The mail boat may never come, but I think I see the mail train approach it through yon tunnel. What? Mail train? Yay! Surely it bears to me a letter from my dear mother who abandoned me at this school for girls so long ago. <laughs> a dragon? Ah! What? Ha ha ha! Tis a dragon indeed. You have been fooled and burned. Outstanding. Okay, we gotta make this the happy version. Yo, Mari, weird question. What state do you live in? You don't need to know that right now. Oh, my dear mother! Do you not love my new seaside mansion? Bought with a fraction of the wealth my overnight success has given to me? Yes, Gloria, my daughter. I only live to make you happy. We are so lucky to be together again so that I could share it all with you. And also that you are not even jealous of my youth and fame, though my star has risen so much faster and grown so much bigger than that of yours, which <laughs> has so quickly faded. Yes. <laughs> yes. Thank <laughs> you. 
fire hydrant to the dog. Let's see. <laughs> I'm a flower to the bee. Does this mean they want to pee at you? I think it does. I swear there was a very logical reason behind that. I'm sure there was. I'm sure. Let's see what I am to him. Oh, one and a half stars. That's what I am to him. Ugh. Should I go through the... How do I get up there? Hmm. Are there other ways to do things? Or is this the only way? Oh, let's go through the door. Huzzah, forsooth! What is thine sweet smell in the air? Let us spin and be happy, entwined in this pole of love, forever young and twisty! Rejoice, for spring has beset in upon ourselves, and the spirit of May is a lingering! Wow, this is... Yeah, I might understand why the critic uh, doesn't like this very much. If I had to watch this over and over again, I'd be like, You suck! Please leave! Never come back! Oh, I know what this is. Okay. Hmm. Their tongues freak me out. Mm. They, yeah, they do. They freak me out. Whoop. Thank you for the $15, Nightborner Art. Thank you for... Hold on. Let me tab out because I can never see it on the thingy. Hold on. Uh, stream labs. Stream labs. I'm opening you up. I'm looking at you with my eyeballs. I'm bad at singing. I don't know why I'm singing. This is super cringy. I'm sorry. Thank you for making awesome YouTube videos and being so incredibly kind. Thank you for donating because that makes a big difference in my life. And you're helping me a ton. And also, thank you for stopping by to say hello to me. Thank you very much. Have I seen this scene before? Yeah. Alright, I wonder what I need to be doing. I've been here before. Ah, it's so hot! Wow, I am hating this! Wow! Touch this? Nope. Oh, it actually burns Watch me. It. Okay. I wonder how it sees me. Oh, I can't do it. Yon dragon is a mystical force of the theater. Only theater itself can affect it. Duh. Ha ha ha. Only theater itself can affect it. Yon dragon is a mystical force. Yon, yon, dr yon dragon is a mystical force of the theater. Only theater itself can affect it. <laughs> hmm. Only theater itself can affect it. What does that mean? Can I, like, throw things at it? Hit 
get a good grip. Hmm. Hi, Le Lena. Lena, zero two. How are you? Nope, that's not it. Hmm. What should I do? Only theater itself can affect it. Okay. So let's think this throw. I want to get up there. I want to get up to the second level. Huh. There must be... something I can do. Throw the whole stage. Alright, alright, alright. Right. Skip, skip, skip. I wonder if I can throw things, these monsters at it? Okay, that doesn't do anything. So, that doesn't do anything. Uh, let's see, let's hit it again. Hold on, let's look it up for a second. Psycho Knots Theater. Glorious Theater, Wiki Guide. What? 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 This doesn't help. This just stops in the. What? This doesn't help me. God damn it, IGN, you suck. Oh, you have to talk to the to the guy. Gosh darn it. I'm an idiot. I'm sorry. We've been wasting time. Does the guy just say get good? Yeah, it does. I'm drawing while watching this and you playing really relaxing to watch because you're raging you're not raging like others might. Oh. Am I I hope I'm not raging too much. Hey, can you help me get up to the catwalk so I can fight that phantom? Ah! Can't get there from here. <laughs> I mean, unless you did that one particular play on that one particular set. Oh, but what if I say? That's almost impossible. Forget about it. The theater is doomed. Hey, why do you have to be so hard on Bonita? Hey, why do you have to be so hard on Bonita? I'm trying to save you from that mysterious phantom character. He only attacks when Bonita performs. If we got rid of little Miss Sunshine, we'd all be safer now, wouldn't we? I'm only thinking of the children. The phantom up the opera is here. Inside my mind. Bonita's just here Bonita's trying to- Bonita's just trying to light <clears throat> things up around here. Ah! I've seen better shines on a shoe. She should quit now while she can still get a job as a nightlight. If you can't say something nice, don't say anything at all. The young boy's protests, though heartfelt, quickly lapsed into simplistic and tedious platitudes. One and a half stars. You hate the show so much, why don't you just leave? Oh, I can't stop looking at it. It's like the sight of a horrible car accident. A car accident where the victims can't act and the paramedics forget their lines. 
right, later, you old gas bag. Listen, this play just stinks. Here, try this one instead. This play has some action in it. Some zing! Wow, thanks. Are you actually being nice? No, I'm just trying to keep myself halfway into the scene. Go, give that to Becky, and see if she can't find some actors to ruin it. His hair looks really cool. His hair looks like like clay that you've mixed three different clays together in art class. And you're like, wow, this is the next level of art. Hey, what's this? A new script? Night of Joy? Weird. It smells like popcorn and it doesn't say which set to play it on. Oh well, we'll just play it on whatever's on stage. I mean, what could possibly go wrong? <sighs> Here, you can be my first AD. Use the megaphone if you want to run the play again. Okay, new script, everybody. Let's practice. And action. Mother, mother, tell me true of the dad I never knew. He was brave in thought and deed. Can't you hear his mighty steed? Wow. Oh, this is how we defeat the dragon. Of course, I'm a dingy dong. Daddy? Now I see. Leave me alone, dog. Stop trying to pee on me. <laughs> Children could die. What could possibly go wrong? I don't know. I mean, this is in the brain. Or his hair looks like a really pointy Cheeto. Ooh. Here we go. This'll do it. Becky, can you hear me? Must be out of range. <laughs> Becky, can we see the night of joy again? Yeah, that one can use a little work. Mother, mother, tell me truth. Of the dad Eat some Cheetos food. then. He was brave in thought and deed. Can't you hear his mighty steed? Here we go. Let's get this going. This must be boring for people to watch because I'm finding this play really boring. Oh, now we can finally get up the thing. My father has nobly smoked the beast to his own death. He is a hero. Yay. And for the record, not a bad kisser. Okay. <laughs> How do I get up there? So the dragon's dead. Do I just, uh. Oh! So, thank you for hosting me. Okay, these things are making the worst sounds in the world and they have to die. They're all laughing, sick weirdos. Oh, levitation? Hold on. That'll do it. But we first we gotta do the thing. Hold on. Alright, skip, skip, skip this. Skip! Skip! I don't want to look at this anymore! <laughs> I remember this being a really annoying level now. I'm just now remembering that this was a really super annoying level to be a part of. Oh! An the day the mailboat finally came? The 
Dana Mail will finally gain. Uh -oh. Most people whose laughs Rock were recorded for laugh tracks are now dead. On stage right away. Okay, people. Places, everyone. And action. I say, I believe I do see the mail boat approaching. Their tongues are so disturbing. Why are oh, they so weird? Like they look like... Are you Miss Gloria Von Guten? Yes! Well, then these bags and bags of lavender-scented fan mail must be for your beautiful self! Yay! Go to sleep, Isaac de Brioche. Close your eyes. Let my beautiful voice lure you to sleep so that you may, re may relax and bode into the dreams of good things. Got it. Fun fact, plays of Shakespeare used buckets of pig's blood for their special effects, in part because their competition was bears killing dogs. Wha what? Why would you... <laughs> Excuse me? Where did I go? Oh. What? What just happened? Okay. Over my amazing career! Please do not leave me, Gloria, my daughter! Go now, and I shall do something unto myself both drastic and traumatizing to you emotionally! Care I do not, for you sicken me with disgust! Adieu, mon mère, adieu! Shakespeare's extra? Yeah, I think so. Goodbye, Haggath the Home. Hey, I, I think this is the one with the... Hey, props. Is that hot air balloon still working? Let's hustle, people. It's showtime. That means you too, kid. You gotta hustle onto that balloon if you want to get up to the catwalks. And... Action! Sigh! When will my mother ever come take me home from this horrible school for girls? Do not worry, for I believe I see them floating here now in a magical balloon! Hey! Psst. What? There's no magic cloud in this set. Well, uh, let's just run around happily and maybe no one will notice. God, those things are disturbing. <laughs> Alright, so the, this one, I think we have to go back a few, like, to the first one. If that, I, did I just die? Did I just die to figurative water? <laughs> what? <laughs> Even in dreams with water that's cardboard, Raz will drown. <laughs> I thought the tongues are faces and people are wearing costumes. <gasps> Ooh, the tongues. Ooh. Water's water, the Chris doesn't care. Here we go. I'm gonna kill these dudes.
What the fuck? Wait, are you seeing this shit? Hold on. That's still good by Haggis at home once more, okay? Yeah, that one can use a little work. Good night, Nightborn Heart. Oh, Nightborn Heart, God. thanks for coming by. Whatever is wrong, little girl? Well, my family has left me alone in a bad, bad place for many years, and I don't know if they will ever come back for me. Oh, uh, I don't worry. I'm sure they'll come for you, and you'll never have to think of that bad place again, ever. Hey, you're right. I think I see them now. Hello, my dear beloved daughter. We have come back for you. Please come with us and be happy and never think of this terrible, terrible place again. Yay! The end. We did it! We're in the rafters now. Why do they speak like this? <laughs> I like, I love, see, I love how even the fragments, they tell their own story. Does that make sense? Oh, the, the phantom is here. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, I should probably get invisibility on. Can't get me now. When you hear him laughing, that's when he's gonna do the thing. You are not welcome here. Oops, I died. Watch your step. You're rude. Tell me what to do. This is my sanctuary. Well, not anymore. Oh shit! Yes, it is. I just fell down. F squared. Uh. Oh, I just got blasted out. You can walk away from the stage, young man, but show business. No, I need the thing. Will always be a part. I got extra F. Triple F. To the F. Oh, at least I don't have to do the whole thing over again. Come closer! I'm coming closer! You can't stop me! I am the Phantom. Dude, guys, this is the Phantom. Where should I go? Oh shit. Here we go. <laughs> Do you 
you ever just run, walk around your house pretending you're evil and going, <laughs> <laughs> I see you down there. Huh? You know, you can't see shit, Le weirdo. Look okay. out below. <laughs> I think self care is <laughs> laughing menacingly to yourself. And if you disagree, sure then. You don't, you don't know anything. Okay, gotta be careful. These things always mess me up. Okay, okay. I'm getting nervous. Because I'm like, so bad at this. I am the phantom. Just kidding, I am the phantom. I was a little teapot, but I'm actually the Phantom. I am the Phantom. Hip. Fuck! Oh, I landed somewhere. I see you down there. <laughs> Look out below. No shit. All right, all right, all right. All right. Sick little section. Step. We're lucky we have acrobatic skills. Otherwise, a lot of these levels would be impossible for us. <laughs> Coming to kick your ass! He told you to look out. Yeah, you know what? Fair. This makes me so nervous, even though, like, in real life, I'm not in danger whatsoever. I'm sorry to invade your personal space, but it needs to be done. Oh, there's a there's a thing down here. This is my sanctuary. Oh, glorious fallen star. Gloria, Gloria von Guten. Gloria, Gloria, Gloria. It's me, I am Gloria. It's me, it's me, Gloria. No, I am sad. It's Mother S. Whoa. Oh, shit. I can't. My light is broken. And now I have two personalities. I have trauma induced bipolar disorder. I don't know if that's a true thing. Though. I don't know if that's real. Not saying that I don't think it's real. I don't know if bipolar disorder can be induced by trauma. That's all I'm saying. Who the hell sent her a pic of her mom's suicide? It might have been. Sometimes when you have a narcissist parent, I like I wouldn't be surprised if if her mom resented her at all. I wouldn't be surprised if <laughs> it would be the the mother's like last will and testament. Send my daughter, who's more successful than me, this really messed up thing <laughs> that I want her to know that. Uh, she's successful and happy, so I want to ruin that for her. 
I see you down there. Sometimes narcissist parents are just like that. Yeah, there's hate fans too. Head things. Like baby things. What? Hello, Macaron B. Thanks for being here. Oh. Short and stout. Ooh, another candle. How dare you violate the sanctuary of the Phantom? Stop, or your next step will be your last. Here we go. Ah, cruel sunlight. Anything but that. No, treacherous child. You shall pay for angering. The yeah, yeah, whatever. Now just stay put so I can come punch and unmask you. Hey, Cake Monster, the saying. Without being too heavy handed, I got in touch with my ex who's abusive. Alcoholic, and he's been really flaky, and all these feelings have come back. Bruh. Bro, girl, in between them, uh, don't, don't talk to him anymore. Just don't talk to him. He's not worth it. He's not worth your time or your energy. Shit. Yeah, don't, don't talk to this man anymore, ever again. Just, just don't do it. Girl, do not even do it. Like, you don't need that shit. He's had clearly had no reason to change. He's not changing. Hasn't changed anything. Nothing has changed. No change. Don't do it. Don't do it. Sometimes you think, oh, like, why won't this person who's important to me love me? They're just not gonna do it. And, uh, you just gotta be, like, cool with that. You know? Okay, Phantom, it's time to find out who you really are. <gasps> oh, this time. How does that work? Who cares? What? It's a dream. I totally guessed that. Uh-uh, you said it was Becky. <laughs> okay, the jig is up, Phantom. What? Why, I never! How dare you accuse me of being the rugged and romantic scoundrel that has thrilled and terrified audiences for years! <laughs> yeah, I guess you're right. He's so agile and limber and... thin. He could never be you. Why, you... Of course it's me! Well, it's time to hang up the cape, Tubbs, because your days of terrorizing the theater as the Phantom are over. Maybe as the Phantom, but he's nothing compared to the full, destructive Let force it go, of an monster. angry critic! <laughs> How can I say this and still sound cool? Sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt me? That's not true, Raz. That's not true. Cake Monster, this is my official decree from me to you as an as a well, then, geek remixer. How about these? <laughs> you must stay away from your ex. Do not call him anymore. You're a 19 and he's 27. Block him from your phone. Hold on a second. We hold on. I need a pause. We as a chat need to come together and support Cake Monster 99 from blocking this person from their phone. Block them from your phone. I will rarely use 
social pressure and stuff to do this. But Cake Monster 99, block him from your phone. Block them, block them, block them, block them, block them, block them. Block, block, block. Block, yeah, block, just block them. You don't need to say anything. You don't need to have any closure. They're not going to give it to you. Block them. I say this because I care, and I will rarely do this. You need to block this person who is an abusive person that you say is abusive and you say is an alcoholic. And alcoholism is a disease, but you can't hang out with somebody who's not trying to help themselves. No, 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 no. Not you will. Do it right now. Right now, Cake Monster. You block him now. You block him now, and then you... And then you play a video game and eat some cake. Yeah, block him and treat yourself with your favorite candy. Yeah, leave his ass 2018. Do not say goodbye. Don't say anything. Just block. That's the best way. <laughs> like, just when I'm, I'm 29 years old, and the thing that I've come to learn is you're not going to get what you think you're going to get from somebody that you want to have an apology from or you want to have affection from or you feel like you, there's just something's not quite right and you want a little bit of it's like closure or anything. You're not going to get it. The only thing you're going to get is a block. Okay, good job. Everyone say good job to, to Cake Monster 99 and their extreme support and also their ability to block somebody that was really strong of you and I just want to say that that was very strong of you and very well thought out and I appreciate that you listened to everybody and uh, I'm just glad that you blocked him. Good job. Good job Cake Monster. That was very healthy of you and you were able to respect your own time and boundaries. Yeah. Don't date 27 year olds when you're 19. I mean you can but don't date abusive alcoholic ones. So I'm so proud of you. You did the right thing today. And you do the right thing every day, and nothing is your fault, and you're perfect. Oh, thank you for subscribing, Cake Monster. Oh, Camel Spider gifted Cake Monster a subscription. And thank you, Camel Spider, for giving the, skif giving the gift sub. And also thank you for giving Cake Monster a nice little thing. Cake Monster, we're all here for you, and we love you. You deserve better. The one thing I've learned now that I'm 29, I was in an eight-year relationship and I was in a bunch of shorter relationships, I am happier, like my threshold, like it really is better to be alone than to be with somebody who sucks. Like don't ever be as scared of being alone. Don't ever be as scared. Because being alone, when you treat yourself right and you do things the way you want to do it, if it's great, and then if you find somebody who who is better than being by yourself, that's good. You want to be with somebody who makes you feel better than how you feel when you're alone. <laughs> so, Redden, may I have advice on my own relationship? Well, okay. I don't want to give too much relationship advice. I'm just saying if they're mean... But yes, you can ask, but I might not answer if it's too serious. So let's see if Mari is a man of her word when, she, when the dread wolf rises. No, I can't. Solus is a different story. That's different. <laughs> How am I supposed to do this? Hmm. Can I sh Oh, okay. Your fighting is weak, uninspired, and flat as a. I have the candles Your now. Moves what? Your are derivative and mechanical. <laughs> Your technique is bland yet irritating. How much? Okay, I have the candles. Watch it. Hold on. Okay. My girlfriend, long LDR, long distance relationship, is having to deal with her ex fiance who she left because she decided to finally come out as gay, but she can't block him or do any of that stuff. What would be the next thing to do is to suggest when blocking is impossible? 
specific. So what you can do if you, she doesn't want to talk to him anymore is say verbally, okay, send him a text with the words, I'm sorry, I don't want to talk to you anymore. And, and really like have that and take a screenshot and then say, and then if he says, talks to her again, say, I don't want to talk to you anymore and just take a record of that every single time. So if he doesn't leave her alone and is making her feel unsafe, you have a record of that that you can take to the police. Genius. Not good enough. What do I do with this? Put this here? What am I doing? I don't know what I'm doing. Not up to the task at hand. Man. Oh, do I put it in this thing? No, this is where I got them. The crowd would have been disgusted had they managed to stay awake. You can float in the musical notes. You tried to, man. Uninspired and flat as a pancake. Hold on. All right. So you can float, and then. It's not floating, dude. Stay awake. With levitation. A terrible fighter. Not up to the task. It's not doing that. the thing. Tedious. Oops. Oops. Agent Cruller, do you have any advice on the current situation? Let's float up to the catwalks and blind him with those spotlights so he'll let down his guard. Zigzag. All right, ready. Okay, thank you. He already invaded her privacy a fuck ton. So blocked him and on most of those things just live close to each other. He keeps trying to say hi, Earl, to her and say, oh, I was talking to this girl to try to make her jealous even though she's trying to avoid him. So what she needs to do is keep a diary of all the times that he's talked to her after she said, I don't want to talk to you anymore. And, like, have dates and times. Like, write it all down. Write all of that down. Every time he sends her a message, take a screenshot. All of it. Keep a record of it. And so that if it ever escalates to a point where you want to have the authority step in, you have all of this information and screenshots and stuff. Because usually when you're like, hey, I'm being stalked, they, they need you to give all this information. So if you have all that prepared, it can definitely help you get a restraining order if you want one. And he gets to that level. If he's initiating contact with you in real life, she just needs to say, I don't want to talk to you anymore. Please leave me alone. And then write that down. Like, make sure you have as much evidence for that as possible. Hang on the way up to avoid the fat... Nothing more to crawler. No, your technique is bland yet irritating. I forgot yes. how to, to glide. Hold on. Hold on, I forgot how to glide. <laughs> I forgot how to glide. Hold on. What button do I press to glide? This isn't... Why am I unable to do the... Sorry, I'm like distracted trying to give Your advice on how to deal with things. Uninspired and flat as a oh, there we go. Here we go. Ow. 
<laughs> Sorry, I was I was distracted trying enough. to tell people how to avoid stalking. <laughs> my B, my B, my B. the review if you kill that kid with the goggles Being gross. Entire top Take of the thing of brain. Wretched regard. A terrible fighter, not up to the task at hand. Oh, ho, ho. Hey! No, oh, your technique is bland yet irritating. Just play. Candles, man. What do we do? Are there uh, more candles? The crowd would have been disgusted had they managed to stay awake. Well, as a it's a pretty much higher people. Whoa. <laughs> Sorry if I'm not responding to the chat. I'm trying to kill this duty boy. A terrible fighter, not up to the task at hand. Ugh, it's like my retinas are being fried. All good write-ups in the review if you kill that kid with the goggles! Ah, another spotlight. I thought I got them all. I'll give you what I gave your... Oh, oh geez. Here we go. Whee! Woo! Got to zigzag up so he can't hit my back. balloon. My psychic balloon. <sighs> Why didn't I bring my? I'll kill him. Get him. Watch it. Watch it. I got him! Yes! Oh! <laughs> What's the matter? Can't you take a little criticism? Said the internet troll. <laughs> Oh my god, die. <laughs> Just die already. And where would Gloria 
to be without her youth. Her inner sunshine. The spirit of her youth. Played tonight once again by Bonita Solaire. Here she is. All you have to do to solve your mental illnesses is to kill the thing inside of you that's hurting you. You better listen to me! You're no good! This place stinks! It's worse than ever before! Oh, I can't believe you call this theater! I, I can't even see it from down here, but I know it's bad! Can you hear me? Oh, you've got fat arms, you hear me? Big fat arms like a wrestler! And a little cheeky double hanging from your neck! Uh, your knees are ugly, and you snort when you laugh. All right, guys, I want you to know that every time you, hear, you think of those things to yourself when you're looking in the mirror, that's what the thing looks Handsome. like that's saying it. The spotlight is all yours. I believe I shall happily retire while I'm still young. Finally, recognition for my acting talents. Every time you look in the mirror and you're like, God, I have fat arms or whatever, I want you to remember that that's what it looks like. That's what the thing talking to you looks like. Attack! No, wait! Don't listen to him! Retreat! Shut up, you fool! The battle is ours! Wellington is on the run! This is our moment of glory! Oh, shut up, you loon. The battle can't be won! We're gonna lose it! I'm afraid you lost it years ago, Fred. Now pipe down over there. I am the orderly, and I run a quiet, peaceful, insane asylum. Understood? <laughs> oh, now, see? You've disrupted Mr. Tagley's art therapy session. <laughs> Le jour de gloire est arrivé! Whatever. Kill for daddy. Let's get clairvoyance out, because that's always fun to use. Behind you, General. Merci vous! What? Oh, he thinks I'm the bad. He thinks I'm. I'm the professor, or the doctor, or whatever. Why aren't you- Greetings, Dr. Lobotto. Up to the secret laboratory, then, is it? One moment. You're not Dr. Lobotto. My eyes may be half gone, but I would recognize the mad doctor anywhere. He's got a stone-cold face a man doesn't easily forget. He wears a beastly smock covered in thick straps like an electric chair. And in the place where his hand should be, there's nothing but a gleaming metal claw. So if I'm not mistaken, you're not Dr. Lobotto, you don't pay my salary, so can you back away from my elevator and die? Thank you, sir. <laughs> more wine. We could do the I Napoleon one, mind. or we could do the really cool one. The super duper cool one that everybody really likes. <gasps> oh, a grain. Flank. No, wait, uh, counterflank. No, uh, uh, unflank. Chaps, what is up, eh? You ever kiss brains? Oh, man, where's my cannon? Uh, did we lose a cannon? That's okay. I'm used to getting beat. Oh shit. That's very Le sad. Gloire est arrivé. It is a it's a what you painting there? 
That is my patron, my psychiatrist, my warden. Looks like Dr. Lobato to me. Is he the one who chained you up? The doctor won't let me go until I complete my treatment. So why don't you just finish the painting and go home? Why don't I just... <laughs> wow! See? Sometimes you just have to... Huh. You painted a bullfight over the doctor's face. Why a bullfight? Huh? Huh, Edgar, why do you... Every time! Every time it is the same! The Matador! The Bull! How I despise you both! But my hands won't let you go. Ah! That is why I am here. Chained in more ways than you can see. A prisoner of art. A prisoner of art. Well, uh, I'm gonna go downstairs. You good? I'm good. Okay, so answering the question about from Cake Monster. I don't... Okay. I don't want anyone to feel personally attacked or anything, but I think that when it comes to people who are older and they don't have their life together and they kind of do a lot of emotional bullshit, like your ex who is an alcoholic and is abusive... As you say, and, like, I believe you and stuff. Um, when somebody doesn't have their shit together, it's a lot easier to have a relationship with somebody who is significantly younger than them, as in, like, late teens or even their teenage years because they know that younger people who have not had as many relationships don't have the... Not emotional maturity, but the experience to know when something's bullshit or not. So they they can, like, pull, like, emotionally manipulative tactics. They can use different things that a lot of teenagers and late teenagers and people in their early 20s don't even know about and don't know how to defend themselves against. Because there's a lot of different ways people can manipulate each other in relationships. And as people get older, they get wise to it. And they're like, oh, I know what this is. This is stupid. Or, oh, you're an alcoholic. I don't want to deal with it. Or, oh, you're really mean and abusive. And I know that there's better options out there for me. And I don't deserve to be treated this way. If somebody is emotionally abusive and an alcoholic and they date somebody who's never dated anyone before, that means they're taking advantage of the fact that that person doesn't know any better. They don't know that they should be treated better. Does that make sense? So usually when somebody's way older, they're trying to take advantage of somebody who doesn't know as much. So anyway, that's my opinion. I think, like, as you get older, the acceptable age gap gets back gets wider like let's say someone's 50 and they're dating a 35 year old that's fine and if someone's 40 and they're dating a 29 year old that's okay but if somebody is 27 and dating a 19 year old ah uh, you know like eh, it, th what's that what's the <laughs> equation that people say where it's uh, half your age plus seven is the minimum you should be going for so, like, if you're 60, you should be dating someone half your age plus 7, so minimally 37 years old. But if you're 20, you should be dating half your age plus 7, which is a 17-year-old at minimum. And even then, I'm like, uh, excuse me? Like, a little weird. So, with your ex, he's, what, 27? So half his age, 27, it's 27 divided by 2, is, like, 14... Let's say 13 and a half plus 7. He should be dating at least a 20 and a half year old. So he's still. Wait, so is it bad that I'm 18 and talking to a guy who is in his 40s? Um, I wouldn't want to label it bad, but I don't think that's what you want to do. I don't want to label it as bad because you're not the one doing the wrong thing. If you're the kid 
and somebody is talking to you in their 40s, it's up to the older person who's taking advantage of something to say no to the younger person. Does that make sense? 